Hey guys, it's Daniel. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to read to you a quote from Nirvana producer Jack and Dino about Sappy. The band spent about 10 hours with him in the studio trying to get the song down. Later in this video, I'm going to show you a clip from one of my interviews with Jack and Dino where he talks about Sappy. If you want to see my full interview with Jack where he talks about his extensive history with Nirvana, the link is available below. I'm the one arranging all the interviews on my channel by myself. If you want to support, the best way to do so is to subscribe, like, and share. Now, here's the quote from Jack and Dino. Quote, I didn't really get the song. When Poneman from Sub Pop heard it later, he didn't really get it either. I remember he said, what's up with that? The people at Sub Pop were very puzzled by it. It was this song that just didn't seem that interesting. And Kurt was determined to get it, you know? A tremendous amount of time was spent on that song. They were pretty particular. They wanted to get this song down and Sub Pop didn't have any plans on releasing it or doing anything with it. I couldn't really see exactly why they were doing it. It was a strange session. Kurt wasn't sure how to express or describe to me the sound he wanted. Basically, he just had me try a bunch of different stuff with a lot of different miking techniques. And that version of Sappy really sounds very Albini-esque. It's not something I would have done normally. It was very much him telling me exactly what to do. What you hear was me trying to get exactly the ideas he was expressing. If I had just mixed it, it would have sounded more like Bleach. When it comes to Sappy, from what I understand, the, Sappy got listed as verse, chorus, verse. Like there was some kind of a confusion there. Do you know what I'm referring to? Like what happened? Yeah, they recorded it. The last recording session they did with Chad Channing was an odd one because they specifically called me up and booked a session just to record that one song. And they spent almost two days just working on Sappy. Um, and it wasn't the most efficient use of the two days, but that's what we did. And um, this was well after um, Bleach. Somewhere it says where that uh, was recorded. I don't remember the exact dates. And that version of Sappy was never actually released except on the best of the box set single cd they put that version of sappy on there and it's not a particularly great version of sappy i think the best version i think is the version that was recorded as an outtake from the in utero sessions that i believe is the definitive version of sappy now when they recorded it with me they called it sappy but there's some confusion about it being called verse, chorus, verse. But there's actually a song that's an outtake from Nevermind that they referred to as verse, chorus, verse at that time, which is a completely different song. And again, it got used on somewhere, the box set or Nevermind Deluxe or something. Um, and there's a few live recordings of it. The vocals are kind of gibberish. I don't know the real title of it because I don't know if Kurt ever settled on a title. It's known as Verse, Chorus, Verse now. Mm. Kurt would reuse titles like that because mm -hmm. it's a generic title, basically. Yeah. It's like calling it the slow one. You know <laughs> what I mean? That could apply to a number of songs, you know, why you haven't figured out what the lyrics are. Although Sappy was not released on any of Nirvana's studio records, Sappy is actually one of Kurt Cobain's older songs. The earliest known recording of the song is a home demo Kurt made back in the late 80s. Though Sappy was not released on any of Nirvana's studio records, it is on the 2013 In Utero Deluxe Edition, so in a sense you could argue that it technically does appear on a studio record, but it doesn't appear on In Utero originally. It was recorded by Steve Albini during the In Utero sessions, but ultimately it did not appear on the record. Steve Albini himself has stated that he was surprised Sappy did not appear on In Utero, noting that he thinks it's a pretty good song. At one point, the song was proposed to be the 12th song on the record, right before the final track All Apologies. The Steve Albini recording of Sappy would originally be released on October 26, 1993 as part of the AIDS benefit compilation record No Alternative, though on No Alternative, the song is titled Verse Chorus Verse. There is another entirely different Nirvana song also called Verse Chorus Verse, so for that reason there is confusion at times between Sappy and the other song Verse Chorus Verse. To add to the confusion, Sappy has been known by three names, Sappy, Verse Chorus Verse, and Sad. Verse Chorus Verse was also considered at one point as the potential title for Nirvana's third studio record, the record that ultimately was named in utero. One of the interesting things about Sappy is that the three producers who recorded Nirvana's three studio albums, Jack and Dino, Butch Vig, and Steve Albini, each did their own recording of the song with the band. 
Jack and Dino's recording from January of 1990 was released on the Sliver The Best of the Box compilation. Butch Vig's recording from April of 1990 was released on the Nevermind Deluxe Edition, and Steve Albini's version was released on In Utero Deluxe, No Alternative, and With the Lights Out. The home demo Kurt recorded of the song was released as part of the Montage of Hex soundtrack. So there are a few different versions of Sappy out there, and at some point, there could possibly be at least one more version of it released. A second Butch Vig recording of Sappy took place during the Nevermind sessions in 1991, but as of the time of this recording in 2020, that version has not yet been released. So who knows guys, maybe at some point down the road, we may hear a new version of Sappy.